Okay, everybody. Got me a nice comic call to share. I know it's uh, it's been maybe two weeks since my last haul. I know I'm slacking off. It's been busy uh, to sit down and make a video, but I've uh, I have time now. It's going to be a little bit longer because we got two weeks of hunting to do, and I even had a pretty good sale. So let me uh, let me just start right away. Let me get right into it, and. I show my favorite book first. It's just one of those things I like to do because I can. it's my video and I can do whatever I want. This is my favorite uh, purchase uh, in the last two weeks. So uh, it was on eBay and I found it for $45 shipped to me, which is a great price. Now it's not 9.8 or, or anything super fancy, but it presents really well. The big thing here is it's got some spine issues. But uh, it's, it's a Silver Age, which is, I believe it's the only one of Black Adam. So there's Black Adam there, and he's throwing, every time I see it, I think he's throwing a football at, you know, the Shazam family. But uh, it's a rock, but I think it's a football. Um, so that was a, a really good price. When you, when you find stuff on eBay, it's like, okay, I got to buy this now if I'm going to do it. Um, and you're looking at the guy's feedback. He's, I think it was like at very little, it's like in the teens. And I'm like, he hasn't had any recent transactions or anything like that. So in my mind, I was thinking this was probably some guy that found some old magazine slash comics uh, and that he's just put on eBay to sell. And uh, for $45, I'm like, ah, I'm gonna do it. And I get the message that it was shipped. So then I'm like, hey, do you have tracking? Cause I'm always worried about it getting wet from rain or something. And he's like, oh, this was uh, a magazine I had when I was a kid. I hope you like it. Here's the tracking number and all that other good stuff. So was it packed the way it was supposed to? Definitely not. Um, it was, I don't think this book has ever been bagged and boarded in its life um, till I got it. But, uh, you know, for, for the age and just having issues there and everything else is really good. Um, I was very happy. So uh, thank goodness. Uh, there's no cardboard in the mailing. There was no, uh, any, it wasn't in a bag and board. Um, and I kind of knew that was going to happen. But for, for this comic and at that price, even if it came bent, I would have been happy. Because you just don't see it. It's, it's a hard to find book for sure. And the uh, way Black Adam is, it's, it just makes me happy. So I'm really happy it worked out well for me. Okay, I've talked way too much about that one. I'm sorry, we'll get it going. We've got way too many books to, to share and go through. So uh, we'll just keep got it here. Uh, Back Issue Magazine, Adam Hughes cover, and there's a Jim Lee on the other side. I think this is the Adam Hughes side. I don't know, but I, I, they're both really good. I wish I could get a bag that had a, a board that was clear. It could go on both sides, but ugh, I love this one. I think with shipping, it was like 39 bucks. Um, I really wanted it. Uh, I had a dream maybe someday finding it in, the, in a back issue bin somewhere, but uh, I just wanted it, so I got it. Um, this is just a random Adam Hughes cover, Wizard Magazine, five bucks shipped to me. So I'm very happy with my eBay finds from this past couple weeks. Oh, and we got one more eBay find. Um, just a comic reader, nothing fancy, kind of something I wanted. Uh, $12 shipped. Okay, I'll take it. Um, now we're to stores, and of course, I like sharing my favorites. So I think these are my favorites from the stores. Um, if you've been watching my other videos, you've known I am number spawn 150 away from completing the, my run from 1 to 200. I found it. Um, actually, I found two of them. So I got two spawns, 150. Uh, they were like thirty dollars a piece, which is which is fair price. Uh, they're not. I think the store really graded them pretty hardly, uh, strictly just to make sure that it was a fair price. Uh, if you put in the right light, the right angle, you could see maybe a spine ding here and there. But overall, for the condition and that price, I'm happy. Um, this was also thirty dollars at a store. Uh, I'm still kicking myself. Like five years ago, I remember contemplating buying this at cover, but I'm like, ah, whatever, I don't want it. And um, now I've, I've been dying to find it, and I was happy I found it. 
and you'll see with everybody else, like we always do, you'll see some Star Wars uh, finds. Uh, this one was a super uh, stealth buy, really. Uh, it it goes hundred hundred dollar ish, give or take, on a regular basis. Uh, it's a retail incentive Star Wars Adventure number seven variant. Got the Rebels on the cover, and I found it for ten bucks. So uh, I was like, oh yes, please, I will take that one all day long. So those were probably my favorites. And now we'll just get into the haul. Oh, I got a couple other surprises in here. That'll be good for you guys. Um, nothing special about this one, Justice League Odyssey number 12. Just a, a great Perillo Starfire cover. I like Perillos, as you've uh, seen from maybe some, like the Red Sonias and the Vampirellas. But this one is just a great Starfire cover. Just wanted it. Uh, so this, we got a, a Star Wars Lando. It's the second print, and it's a number one, and it's a Star Wars. Okay, cover, I'll get it. Uh, Dr. Alpha Annual Variant number two cover. I'll get it, no problem. Um, I've kind of been on the hunt these days uh, to find some hard to find milestone books just because they're kind of a thing now. And I was like hunting for, for stuff. But these aren't anything special. I just found this set, uh, they were two bucks each. Um, La Long Hot Summer, it's just a DC milestone event. Um, I got one, two, and three. It's just a complete set, so that was good. Um, speaking of Perillos and Vampirellas, uh, I found these for covers, and I cannot buy these fast enough because they do they do go for uh, some money these days. Um, Vampirella 17, Vampirella 21, and Vampirella 25. So to get those for cover, why not? Uh, we're keeping it moving. Back to some Star Wars. That guy's first appearance. I don't know his name. It's that Star Wars number 10 from Dark Horse. Star Wars number 15 from Dark Horse. Um, you'll see uh, another. It hasn't arrived yet, but I'll have a mail call. I got Tales of the Jedi, the Sith War. Uh, spoiler alert. Maybe it'll be on my next video. But um, they ha I got the set of one through six minus number four. I was at the store, saw number four for three bucks. Hey, now I got the set, I'll get it. On the Aranya kick, I just like the cover. It was like three bucks, it's cover, so, okay. Here is a good find that could have gone in with the, my other favorites. Invincible 89 second print. Um, I don't even know what this goes for, but I just don't see it that often. And when I do see it go up on eBay, people are asking, 100, 200, 300. Not that it's going for that amount, but people are asking a lot for it. Um, I don't know. I found it for 350, so I was like, hey, I'll take it. Uh, this was five bucks. Um, Star Wars Republic. Just a, you know, this was five bucks. You know, Static Shock milestone stuff. Um, but this is a, from the DC. It's a one shot. It's five bucks. So I was like, eh, okay, fine. This one I was super happy to find at a condition I liked as well as a price I liked. So it's it's probably like VG plus, F minus, but it presents really well, which I like. I mean, you got the corners and maybe, you know, on the right angle from the spine, but for the most part, I'm happy as a collector looking at it, figuring out what it is. It was 15 bucks. So I got that one's first uh, appearance of Dream Girl, I think's her name. And, uh, yeah, why not? I got First Parents of Dream Girl. Um, just second to last issue of Blood Syndicate. Those seem to be a little more rare. It was like three bucks. I got it. This was cover, so it was like four bucks. Star Wars, Dr. Alpha number three. It's the first appearance of a character who Dr. Alpha, uh, a recurring character in this first storyline for Dr. Alpha. And if something ever comes with it, it's a good chance you'll see that character in other things as well. Uh, Ghost Rider 46, this was I think like three bucks. It's the first solo story of Vengeance, and that's Vengeance on the cover. I know that's pretty rare, not rare, but it's pretty odd. It's not worth anything, but uh, I don't know, it's kind of something I put on my list to look for. Why not? Uh, it's just second printing, Amazing Spider-Man number two. Okay. And Justice League Annual number one, it's the first appearance of Petunia or Petuna or something like that. I don't remember the name exactly, but that was cover. 
So as a hunter, you gotta get the first appearances. You gotta make it work. Good. We're banging this out. We're covering a lot of ground and showing a lot of stuff. Uh, this was in the back issue bins. It's an ash can, Star Wars, Tales of the Jedi, Dark Lords of the Sith. It was like uh, three bucks. This was like three bucks too. Jedi versus Sith number six. So, um, you know, I, I just kind of tentatively looking for the set. I, like I said, I, I bought one years ago. I have like two and three already. I think I showed in my last video, I got six. I think I have another one coming somewhere around here. I think I'm only missing number two now. Um, this is Hawkeye number two. Uh, it's the first appearance of a love interest of Kate Bishop. Hey, you never know. Some modern stuff. Fantastic Four number two. Uh, Valor, Valeria Richards and Franklin Richards have new code names. Okay, whatever. It was cover. I might as well get it. Outlaw number one. Eh, it's nothing special. Might as well get it. Um, just uh, Invincible Iron Man cover. Um, early Riri Williams second print. Okay. And based on my research, this was covered as well. This is when uh, Riri Williams goes by the name Ironheart for the very first time. Okay, cool. I'm really into the TV show Cobra Kai. It's a photo cover, Cobra Kai. Uh, so I was like, okay, I got to get it. Um, Miss Marvel, I think this was a dollar. I think that was covered. I think now we're into some dollar finds. Uh, Miss Marvel, number 12, first appearance of Red Dagger. Uh, just Champions, number 13, second print. Uh, Savage Dragon, 228, it's a shorter print run, hard to find. Uh, Raging Thunder, Hulk, number one, first appearance of that chick. So I was like, okay, cool. This one, I was super happy. That was cover. These are like cover buys. I was super happy to find this one. I didn't think I would. Uh, so it was, what's the cover here? Yeah, that's what I thought, three ninety nine. So it was like four bucks. Uh, Black Panther annual number one. It's a Surrey being Black Panther, alternate reality, future, different world. I don't know, something. I should look into it more, but it's definitely some Surrey spec on that one. So that was good. Um, oh, I found another eBay one. I remember paying $15 for this one shipped. Um, you know, just with Miss Marvel being the way, the rage, I've been looking for this one probably for six, seven months and I can never find it. Heck, anytime you see bubblegum Marvel in a, on a cover, it, it seems to be popular. So it's like, okay, I might as well get it. Um, this one's kind of gotten some heat for, uh, cover appearance of the, the all new wasp so okay fine um invincible 19 first appearance of beast boy and this was 15 dollars uh wolverine number 71 uh second print variant you have a t-rex having the venom syndicate it's a cool cover i've always liked it um i just never wanted to pay money for it but i mean i did spell spend 15 dollars on it so it's still a, a respectable amount but sometimes you're like, look, I just really want it. I've wanted it for years. Um, heck, most of the time I see it for over 20. So I was like, ah, okay, fine, I'll get it. Uh, this was cover, a Spider Gwen, um, the Carnageized variant cover. Okay, cool. Ghost Spider number one, second print. Okay, I'll get that. And I think this was in a dollar bin. Actually, I know it was in a dollar bin. I wouldn't pay more than that. Just uh, brings back childhood memories, that sort of thing. So those were the LCSs in my travels that I was been looking for. So what else? I got some more stuff here. So I went to a sale uh, this past weekend. You know, you fill up a diamond box. It was a hundred bucks. Um, I'm just gonna show you what I got out of it that I liked. Um, so there's nothing special here. This I've shown you the, the really the fun stuff, but I'll just show you what I like that's going into my personal collection. Uh, I've, uh, this is reprints, uh, uh, Spider-Man, uh, the story when Gwen Stacy died and the one after. So there's two in that one, you know, just a MODOK number one day of vengeance. So there's really in these boxes where you just fill up a one, there was nothing exciting, nothing, but, um, you know, it's still fun to, to, to hunt and look and, um, you know, you might find some stuff, Darth Maul variant number three, uh, Mortal Kombat X number one second print, the Ultimates number eleven cosplay variant, Aquaman thirty the Mad Magazine variant, Aquaman twenty seven that variant, Aquaman twenty six variant, Aquaman twenty seventh new fifty two variant, J Scott Campbell cover. I mean these aren't these aren't worth it really that much. But when you're 
Find an invincible Iron Man number 10 first print. When we were looking for stuff, and it's like, here's throwing that box together. It's fun because these are books I probably wouldn't pay cover for, but I'd, I'd make it part of uh, the hunt and filling out a box. Uh, Secret Avengers uh, number 28. This is when uh, Carol Danvers decides to go by Captain Marvel. I feel like that's kind of an important event. Okay, I'll get it. Uh, Rocket Raccoon number one, second printing. Uh, New Avengers. Number 27 variant, uh, Car Carnage, uh, Welcome to the Dark Side, you know, the hip-hop variant. This was probably my best find, or I don't know, to me it was. I've never owned this one, the Ultimate X, number one variant. Uh, Earth 2, number one, Savage Dragon 205, Peter Parker, Spider-Man 99, first appearance of the villain Spot. Uh, Gen 13, Encore, number one. Okay, it's a, a J. Scott Campbell cover. Howling Commandos, number one, variant. Okay, cool. Uh, this is an Art Germ Vampirella Virgin variant. Okay, I'll get it. This one I was really happy to find. Um, Marvel Age, number two. It, uh, it predates Alpha Flight, number one. So it's kind of like a preview appearance of Alpha Flight, number one. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, we're down to our last little pile here. We're almost done, guys. Yeah, under 20 minutes, we'll get this baby. Uh, here's the other Jedi versus Star Wars number four. So all I'm missing is number two for the Jedi versus set. Actually, I take it back. This was my best find because it was my favorite. Ultimate Spider-Man number two, second print. I've been looking for that one. Actually, I've, I've contemplated spending 30 bucks on eBay for it. But um, I don't know. It just seemed too much to spend for that one. Uh, Black Panther, number two, second print. This is when Killmonger gets infected with the Venom symbiote. Uh, just some uh, clone conspiracies, number one and two. Heck, now maybe I'll look out for the set, put it together. Oh, this was a good one, too. I liked. This one made me happy. Uh, Forever Evil, number five, uh, Black Adam uh, variant. Okay, cool. This one I was happy to find. It's, I've been wanting this one now for a little bit, but you know, you never want to spend, I mean, heck, I didn't even want to spend $5 on it. But um, to find it, uh, to fill up my box, that was good. Uh, it's the first appearance of the Wasp, the new Wasp, uh, in this free comic book day, Civil War number two. So I get that. Uh, Hex number one. And you know, they're, they're in fine condition, fine minus a lot of these. And just the one room in 750, Josh Milton cover. So those are the ones that are definitely gonna go in the personal collection. I mean, they had other stuff that I'll, you know, I'll probably use this trade bait or do whatever, you know, Green Lantern number one. I got some of those, uh, you know, Star Wars, Dark Empire, some Fantastic Four number, um, Marvel team up, you know, this Forever Evil variant I don't care about. Howard, the, actually I thought that was a good one, but the back is really beat up, so that annoyed me. Uh, Flash variant. Couple hot guys, you know. So, you know, so it was, it was a lot of middle of the road stuff. Um, you know, trying trying to put together the Ultimate Spider-Man run the uh, with Venom. So that was kind of cool. Heck, love me some Patrick Stewart. You know, so it, it was, it's fun when we were putting that box together just to kind of go and look, try to put runs together. You know, that's part of the fun of the hunt. Just you know, some Larza fleas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, cool. I get them all, that's kind of fun. Um, I wish, because some of these I do really want, but the condition I just don't want. So I, I, any Marvel Tales I saw, I just grabbed. So they're just random Marvel Tales. I really want to get some more McFarlands. You know, I could get that McFarland run, but these are just too poor condition. I just don't want them for my condition, for my collection. So, you know, you can trade them cheap or put a set together for some run fillers for other people. Um, you know, just some variants. I think I got into some Aquaman variants there, so that's pretty, yeah, it was like whatever. Justice League Society. Oh, that's cool. Actually, these, this one was, but this one I, I remember paying five bucks for. Uh, that would that was from a store. Um, so that was a good find too for five bucks uh, at a store. But anyways, yeah, some more McFarland. So that was kind of like the haul. Nothing fancy, but it was nice to just kind of show off some stuff. Um, anyway, so that's what I've been up to the last couple weeks. Uh, I'll, I'll try to put some more together, keep sharing, and I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.